Okay, we're tasked with finding the first and second derivatives for g of x, which is a polynomial inside of a power function. So to get going, finding g prime of x, the first derivative, we have a function within another function. So what I'm going to do is focus on the outer function first. So the outer function is going to be the set of parentheses. It's all raised to the sixth power. So I want to focus on that first and take the derivative of the outer function. So power rule here is going to help us out. We're going to bring the six down. We're going to reduce the exponent by one. So make that to the fifth power. Okay, next we keep what's on the inside the exact same. Think in the chain rule here. But we have to multiply by the derivative of what's on the inside. So the derivative of that inner function is going to be power rule again. Bring the three down in front, multiply it by the two, reduce the exponent by one, and then the derivative of that constant, the plus three, is going to be zero. So I'm not going to include a plus zero at the end. Next, what I'm going to go ahead and do is combine together. Basically, I'm going to take my 6x squared at the end, and I'm going to put it with this 6 out in front. That's going to give us 36x squared multiplied by this big set of parentheses, 2x cubed plus 3, all raised to the fifth power. So at this point, we have two things multiplied together. Um, for the time being, I'm going to call them m and n. So because we have two things multiplied together, we're going to have to use the product rule to find the derivative. So this is going to be the derivative of the first times the second, plus you keep the first one the same, multiply it by the derivative of the second. All right, so one at a time here, the derivative of m, which I'm treating as that 36 x squared, that derivative is going to be 72 x to the first power. And then we bring along that second uh, function, what I'm treating as that, the what's in black there, the big set of parentheses, 2 x cubed plus 3 raised to the fifth power, plus, next we bring along m, the first one, the 36 x squared, and now we have to multiply by the derivative of that 2x cubed plus 3 all raised to the fifth power. So this is back to, just like our first derivative, we're going to have to use the chain rule to do so. So I'm going to focus on the outer function, bring the 5 down, reduce the exponent by 1, keep what's on the inside the exact same for the time being, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of this inner function. So we haven't done anything with that inner function yet, its derivative is going to be, again, 6x squared. Now we could do some cleaning up. Typically, leaving it looking like this is pretty good work as we do this. Um, the only cleaning up that I may do, just rewriting this a little bit nicer, I would leave the first all the exact same. But we could go ahead and say, well, I've got 36 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6, so 36 Sorry, 36 times 5 times 6 is 1,080, as we were all guessing. Um, we also have x squared times another x squared here. So that can make x to the fourth if we'd like. And then I'd probably bring along the big set of parentheses, 2x cubed plus 3, all raised to the fourth power, and call it a day. That, that's a pretty decent answer as far as these derivatives go. Um, quite a bit of work on that one, but take your time. Make sure you understand exa exactly which rule you're going to use based on the situation, whether it's going to be the chain rule or the product rule or just a power rule. So I hope this helps out. Good luck.